Today I'm going to be doing a project with scratch art paper. There's a couple tips that make this project a lot easier. Today we're going to do a design that's non-objective. That means it's going to be about colors, which are going to show through on the paper, and lines that we're going to create, and shapes. To make it easier, we're just going to pick some of our stencils and pick a simple shape that we're going to repeat and overlap. I'm going to do circles. One of the important things about this paper is that there's this coating on here and the more you touch it with your hands, the more you're going to leave the grease and oils from your fingers on the paper. So you want to have something like a piece of scratch paper like this or a piece of cardboard that you can kind of put down so you can keep your hands on here so that I'm not putting my hands on the black paper. And then another thing is that when you use your wood tool, I'm gonna find mine. When you use your wood tool, it helps if you kind of pull instead of push. So I'm gonna start with my circle tracer and I'm gonna think about where I want these to go. And I might start with one big circle. So I'm gonna hold my hands on top of the tracer so that I'm not putting my hands on the black paper. And I'm going to pull the tool around it. So I'm not pushing because that kind of catches. So I'm letting it go at an angle. And I pull around my shape. So I have one circle already. Now I wanna create an interesting design in kind of a pattern with a balance between the black of the paper and the color that I'm revealing underneath. So I'm going to use some different size circles and let them overlap and kind of crisscross. So I'm going to set this down and again. I'm going to keep my fingers on the plastic stencil so I'm not touching the paper. And I'm going to kind of pull around the design. So I have another circle. And I might use the outside again with this large one. And again, I'm tilting my stylus. That's what they call this, a stylus. At an angle and pulling. And I'm going to start getting these neat kind of shapes that are like a football shape or a kind of a semicircle. I think I'll do, I'm going to look and see which shapes fit best and are more interesting. So I'm going to do another large one. So the reason why we're doing non-objective art is so that we can kind of learn the material and get the skill down of how to pull and create an interesting design and not have to worry about making something that's realistic. Non-objective art has shapes and lines and colors, but you don't really know, you don't see a face or a landscape or any of those topics. It's just going to be these shapes and colors. So now I'm going to use some smaller circles. I'm keeping my hands off of the scratch paper as much as possible. And I definitely have some nice big shapes here. I'm going to start making some smaller circles. I've got a lot of space here. Definitely going right off the edge of my paper. And some overlap inside here. I kind of started with a larger circle and then I went to kind of a more medium. Now I can start going to some of the smaller ones. Making sure I get a variety of size. Since I picked just one shape, I think it's gonna be important that I have a variety of sizes for these circles. And I've got some circles here. I've got a nice big shape here. Let me split that one in half. Circles are a great shape. They kind of remind us of a lot of different things. It kind of looks like it could be planets or atoms. So circles are very symbolic. So maybe little circles. I'm just kind of rotating and again. I'm keeping my hands off that black paper because if the oils and grease from my hands get on there, the black ink doesn't scratch off very easily. So 
now my design is starting to look a little bit more interesting. I've got lots of lines, a lot of intersecting lines and intersecting circles. So what I can start to think about is picking and choosing some of these to scratch to let more of the color come through. So this is where my paper, like this is going to be handy. So I'm going to set my paper down and I'm going to pick one that I want to make the color show up. I'm going to start with this shape right here. So I'm going to put my scratch paper on and if you start with the tip and this is straight up and down, you get a very small line and it's a, a little bit harder to do. So again, I'm going to angle my stylus and I'm just going to kind of rub slow and steady, kind of going along that edge. And this paper is nice because it's multicolor underneath there, so it's kind of got like a rainbow pattern. It does make a lovely squeaky sound. That might bother some people. Even feeling it scratch off kind of bothers some people. It's um, definitely something that is not for everybody. Now I'm going to repeat this and I'm going to just pick and choose which shapes I think will be interesting. I might do some shapes that are the circles. I might do some interesting shapes like this one that's created here. And I'm going to jump around different places until I have a nice balance of the black and the color. So you can see I started with this one and I kind of left the other half black and did the negative background. So I'm kind of like jumping. Now this one's scraped out so I left that black and I jumped to this one. So next I might kind of come over here. This is black. I might scrape out this one. So I'm kind of going back and forth and kind of balancing so that I'll have a, the color showing through and then black and then the color showing through. This is going to take me a long time to scrape this one off. I'm kind of using the side and I can get like, I can kind of get bigger marks when I use the side like that, but you want to be careful that you don't cross over into your design. You only get one paper, so you have to go slow and steady and think about it as you go. And don't panic because if you make a mistake, you can make thicker lines or add another shape. We're doing this project today and using just shapes and stencils so we can kind of get a feel for the material and understand how it works. So we're working on our craftsmanship. So I don't know if you can see this, but right here, there's a spot that is not scratching off. And if I tilt it, what happened was that was a spot where I touched and the grease from my fingers got on there. And now when I go to scratch here, it's skipping right over it. So that is an example of why you don't want to get your fingerprints on there because it makes it really hard to scrape that off. It's just skipping right over that spot. So. I must have touched my hand on there before I put that down and got a little greasy spot on there. And now I can't get that off. Like I'm kind of scratching away at it a little bit, getting it off a little, you know, by working at it, but it's definitely skipping right over that spot. So that is why you use this paper so that your hands are not on the paper and you keep them off from the sides while you're working on your design. Having a cat inspection is always helpful too. So in my design, what I have left is this big space here. So it would be all of this that I would scratch off and over here in this corner. And those are really large spaces. So what I'm gonna do is add a couple more circles in there that I can leave so I can scratch around it so I'm not scratching such a big space. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. So I'm gonna add, um, Scratching that, I don't scratch that. No, nope, that's not gonna work. I don't wanna have it over two circles or it's gonna ruin my design. So I'm gonna add one here. Now I can scratch this piece and there'll be less to scratch here. I'm gonna go like this and add a shape here. 
So now I can leave that black and I'm gonna be scratching, I'm gonna set this here so I can put my hands on this. So I'm gonna scratch all of this here. And of course, the more I scratch and the neater I do it, the better this is gonna look. So I'm just showing you, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna make that neat. I'm gonna do this outside and now I have all of this to scratch in here. This is gonna take me a while, but I think it's gonna be a pretty cool design. So all this negative space around the bubbles is gonna get scratched out. So I'm just marking that and then I'm gonna go in and make that all solid like these. And again, the neater you do this, the more color you show, the better the design's gonna look. And you notice I was very careful around my edges so that would be nice and precise. And that's just taking my time, making sure I have my hands on my scrap paper and moving it around as I need to. It's funny that I'm moving around for this one and I'm just trying to keep this hand off the edge of the paper. So I don't want it to move. So I'm just careful when I'm near the edges. And when I get up to a, a curve like this, I maybe turn my paper so that I can have my um, stylus follow the curve of that line Eas more easily. I can tell I have a little grease on the paper there. It's having a little trouble rubbing that off. So now I'm just going in and cleaning that up a little bit, making it look a little bit better. Going up to those edges nice and neat and really getting rid of all that so I can really see the design. 